Hey guys, what's going on? Adam here with Indy Farm Life. I'm putting the railing on the dock today. Well, at least I hope. I showed you guys a while back how to build that dock, and now we're gonna put a railing and build a gangway. Let me show you what I'm working with. So there are all the materials. Uh, it came from Menards, actually. I bought the pre-built panels, two by six railings up top and bottom, and then all the balusters on there. It was actually cheaper to buy them from Menards prefab than individually from both Home Depot and Menards. So FYI, or Home Depot and Lowe's. And they uh, had 11% rebate going, which is nice. Um, got all my posts here. These did not come this way. So what I'm doing with these, these are my four corner posts. And I notched them one and three quarter inches in so that they'll sit in a little bit on the corner. And then the same with all the flat runs of the dock so that the railing won't be out over the water but tucked in above the deck. So I have all my posts put together. I just cut them, used the circular saw, and then the, you saw the multi-tool laying there to kind of clean them up and then sanded them a little bit. I'm gonna seal them with some water sealer here and then hopefully start putting these babies up and then start putting the rings around. Then I'll get working on the gangway as well. And I don't know how much of this I'm gonna shoot live, but I'll, I'll stop and tell you what I did and then that way you have a, an idea if you're doing this yourself. If you guys do attempt this build, one thing I highly recommend you get, and I got mine at Tractor Supply, I think Rural King sells them too, but one of these uh, rock clamps here are really nice when you're cutting your 6x6 for the corners there. Makes uh, life a lot easier. Using the trailer as a workbench is nice, because now I'm going to take everything here and just drive it out to the pond. Probably throw the generator on there too, because I need some electric out by the dock to work on a couple things. So out on the dock, and this is probably the best scenery you could ask for for a job site, but I'm going to set my corner post first, like my little OSHA approved electric bridge there. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I cut the corners a little bit so that the notch post will sit down there. I'm going to start with these two here because if you recall from the dock video, that end's not buttoned up yet. But each one of the posts are getting two 3 8 inch lag screws. And actually, I think the corners are going to get four. On each, one on each side or two on each side so that with uh washers and when you put in these bolts you're going to make sure you pre-drill them because actually the lag bolt for this post is going to go right in the end of this two by 12 so pre-drill it so it doesn't split all right i got two of my corner posts set they are rock solid too once you get that railing in there this thing's going nowhere um get yourself a post level when you do this in case you need to shim anything out but to show you so the notch that i cut just sits around the corner i got the two three eighths lag bolts on this side same over here and I actually drove a couple three inch number nine screws in there just to really tighten things up so on to the other two corners but i gotta finish putting down that piece of decking over there first i gotta shave that six by six down fun so i got the four corner posts on and that other side there buttoned up, I just kind of scabbed the outside of it. So I'm gonna work on putting the two posts between each of these for a six foot run each way and then a four foot span in the middle. One side will have a ladder and uh, the others might be closed up. And then one's gonna be an entrance for the gangway, I think right here, I'll have to spin this thing obviously, but then the gangway will go up to the dry land. Also, I just dyed the pond, you can check that out in another video. Uh, I'll be curious to see what it looks like in about two hours. All right. Finally have all eight posts on and am ready to put the rails on. But I think I might focus on the gangway here a little bit first. Those rails should go up pretty easy using the hardware that I have. So uh, this section here is going to be open for the gangway. Probably have a gate on it. I think that will be permanently closed. That may have a gate, but probably permanently closed for now. Uh, just so I can get this thing done and not have kids falling off of there. And then the ladder that I ordered is going to go here. Still haven't figured out how I'm going to uh, barricade it off when we're up here and so the kids don't fall in. The ladder I have does flip up, so maybe I can use that to advantage to uh, keep them sequestered. So there's the beginning of the gangway. Um, just following the same methodology I used on the dock. 6x6 six six is in the corner, 2x10, no 2x12 skirt. And I'm not using joist hangers either. Uh, I don't need the extra weight. There's not going to be that many people on this at one given time, right? So... Uh, two barrels got 22 inch slots again gonna put both barrels out there and then if it's not enough buoyancy we'll just leave more of it on land whatever we need to do uh, but in a fun turn of events I left my radio on all day also used the truck to charge drill batteries so now it's dead so I'm gonna use the generator which has uh, jumper cables in it to 
get the truck going. So it's going to be noisy. So this is my last video for today and I'll check back tomorrow. So here is what I accomplished while my truck was charging on the generator last night. Um, I got supports in all the way up to about here. Had to run out and get some more lumber this morning, which is always fun to do during a pandemic. Um, but I actually built this gangway with slots for every 22 inches so I could out truly put barrels in every slot if we ever wanted to and kind of turn this into a second floating barge, maybe a fishing barge or whatnot. But out here setting the rails now, let me show you the hardware that I have for those. It's pretty slick actually. So just that, you see that black steel plate there, you put two screws on the inside this way and then up there on top and just do it on all four corners and a little pro tip i'm always a fan of ratchet straps but if you're a little out of plumb with your post you can tighten them up and uh, if you're working by yourself ratchet strap is very helpful so i got those eight rails on now i'm going to focus on the open gaps there the far left side here is me where the gangway enters so i'm making a gate i took one of the panels i had and cut it to length had to take the baluster off to run the saw there but uh, I'm going to put a 2x6 on both sides to kind of give it some rigidity and then slap some hinges on it and pop it in. So I don't have decking on the gangway yet. Uh, Lowe's was running a little short of supplies this morning. It was a nightmare. But I got all the rails on uh, and we have two gates and a third gate probably going here once the um, ladder's in, which should be in today from the good old Amazon. So I'll check back in when we have decking and show you guys the finished product. Right now though, me and my pool noodles are jumping in. All right, back on site to finish things up. I won't be decking this today as I still don't have the boards, so you won't get to see that, but you can flip back to the video of the dock being built. Same process, just got to put a top on it. I am going to float it though, put a couple barrels on it. We'll probably put plywood or something down. Going to use it this afternoon, but I need to put the ladder in that opening there and then probably a gate on it as well. And the ladder I picked up, it's pretty awesome. Uh, Amazon special. And you can see those triangle pieces. That's actually a pivot point. So when you're not using a ladder, you can pull a set pin you see hanging there out and flip it up to keep it out of the water and from being mucky. And right there, it'd probably be touching bottom anyway. So uh, a nice benefit. All right, so Nick and I just popped a couple barrels under the gangway there. Got her floating. I think we're going to take the tractor and clear out here, make a level area, and maybe put a piece of concrete down that we have. Then out there, the uh, floating dock is ready to go. You can see the ladder up there. Too. Got it flipped up and uh, got a gate actually on the back side of that ladder too. So uh, we can kind of close it off if we're not using it, but coming together. All right, guys, a little uh, rudimentary. Had an old concrete slab there, put the gangway on. Like I said, I don't have all the deck boards, um, but I'll get those at some point. But there she be. Gangway's floating. We're going to clean it up and use it this afternoon. And I'll take you out here and kind of show you. I don't know that the ladder will actually be able to go down right there because I think that it may not be deep enough. I've got more cleats and D-rings to put on to help more of these two things together. And ultimately, I want to get some pins to put in there. Uh, but we got three gates and a ladder. Let's see if I can't drop this gate real quick. Or drop the uh, ladder. It's pretty nifty how it... Flips down. Yeah, on bottom. All right, guys, so there you have it. Putting a railing on a floating dock and building the gangway. Nick and I are going to clean up and then probably crack a few cold ones. By a few, I mean, well, I'll let you guys figure out what that number might be. As always, appreciate you swinging through the channel and checking out this video. If you would, hit that subscribe button and come back and see us. Hope Nick falls in. <laughs> See you guys, take care.